Welcome to the second week of our Lenten devotional titled, Walk Dusty. As we journey through this life, we are mindful that sin has impacted us and the world around us. We see the hardships and difficulties brought about by sin, just as Adam and Eve did after they sinned in the garden. Sometimes these results of sin can overwhelm us. We need hope to continue the journey. We look to God to give us this hope. Best of all, the hope that God gives us is far more than a wish for a particular positive outcome. The hope that God gives us is a certain hope. It is a certain hope because it is based on the word and the promises of God. This hope is a hope we share with brothers and sisters in Christ as we encourage one another as we walk dusty. I encourage you to pause the video after the following questions are displayed and discuss those questions with those you are gathered with. If you are alone, you may wish to write down your thoughts and answers to those questions in a journal. Hear now the words of John chapter 11, beginning with the 17th verse. Now when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him. But Mary remained seated in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. Once again, I would encourage you to read the following questions, pause the video, respond to those questions, either with those that you are with or by writing in your journal. Hear the words of Ephesians chapter 4, beginning with the first verse. I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore it says, When he ascended on high, he led a host of captives, and he gave gifts to men. Once again, I would encourage you to read the following questions, pause the video, respond to those questions, either verbally or in writing.
God gives us a certain hope that Jesus is with us always through this journey of life and that he has conquered sin and death for us so that we will be with him forever. May we live in the hope of Christ's resurrection today and every day as we walk dusty. Let us pray. Lord, may we remember that it is this dust we call life that shapes and forms us into resurrection people. Give us the courage to live a life that reflects your love for all creation. Fill us with the joy and peace of your certain hope. Amen.